And everyone, read what it says, okay? You guys ready? Everybody have a round of cake. You gotta read it. Oh, welcome home. Welcome home, Jeff. Happy 20th birthday. Happy birthday. Sarah. Okay. So where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Oh! Rochester school is always a good day, but for fourth grader Adrian Hebert and her little sister Emily in kindergarten, they have no idea just how special it's about to become. And here's why. You fix. In a nearby classroom, Gunnery Sergeant Donnie Hebert is just home from Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to return until April, and he's about to see his daughters for the first time in months. Any nerves? Well, you always have nerves. You know, you don't know which way they're going to react. Well, let's see, shall we? First, Adrian sees a welcome home banner. Initially, there's confusion, but when she sees her dad for the first time in a long time, it all gives way to this. We have a very, very special guest today. Emily breaks from the pack first. Baby. And then seconds later, the Hebert family is whole again. How you doing, baby? And daddy, too. Muffled sobs into the chest of this Marine say it all. Although after the reunion, the girls gave it their best shot. What kind of day was this for you? Very special and loved. loving day. What did you think when you saw daddy? Very happy. For mom Jamie, it was a tough secret to keep. But with this kind of reaction, it was all worth it. Just seeing them run up, it just waterworks. Oh, man, what a feeling, huh? It is. You really can't explain it. And you don't have to, Maureen, as your little girls explained it for us. In Rochester, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9. There's a present for you in there? Yeah. Uh, it says Richard and Lorelai. Sorry, it's late. Enjoy Santa. Yeah. You didn't get to hug Santa? Next time we see him, you can hug him. How about you open up the present? Um, wait, wait. I gotta take my jacket off and my boots. You gotta take your jacket and your boots off? Tear away. I see something in there. You see something in there. Lorelai, are you going to help? Mom, this is top. This is top. You want me to get the top? Yeah. Okay, what is it? You think it's a car? Yeah. Are you sure? Mom, I really want Santa. 
You do? You really want to play with it? Yeah. Okay. This is my best present ever. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You can't reach? Yeah, it's too high. I need somebody to pick me up. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Hi, buddy! Daddy! Is that the best day ever, Richard? Yeah. <laughs> about her wish for Christmas set up a homecoming surprise today at her school. WLKY's Ann Bowden went to Crossroads Elementary in Mount Washington for the surprise. All I want for Christmas is my brother. Fourth grader Andrea Miracle didn't know it, but she was about to get a miracle. When her brother left, we all knew that she was very sad about it, and we've heard lots of conversations about Skyping him and wanting to see him and wanting to go to Germany to see him and wanting him to come home. All I want for Christmas is my brother. He's been the He's been in the Army for one and a half years. As a part of a class project, Andrea, along with two other selected students, read their All I Want for Christmas essays. But little did Andrea know, the entire project was created to make her wish come true. This is important to me because Jake is my only sibling. He has been there for me through hard and easy times. The things I miss most about him are his big blue eyes, his giggle, his laugh, his smile, and his hugs and kisses. While every student wrote a letter, teachers and Andrea's mother had a large wrapped surprise with someone very special listening inside. Well, she said in her letter, in her paper, that um, if she got to see her brother, she would have a cow. I would do whatever I could to keep him home. I would be so happy that I would go crazy. I would do anything to see him. Thanks to an approved leave from the Army. Wish granted. I was tearing up in the box. I, oh God, I missed you. <laughs> I knew that's how she felt, but just hearing her read it and hearing her say it, and the fact that she wrote two whole pages, it was ridiculous. And now Andrea is getting those hugs and kisses she's missed, and time. I don't care what we do as long as I'm with you. That's perfect. <laughs> Now, Andrea's brother, Jacob, will be home until January 3rd. After that, he'll go back overseas to Italy. But Andrea says this homecoming will last her for a while. Okay. Go ahead. So, guys, look who's home. And it's a bit tricky. Other way. You gotta push hard. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, who is it? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Santa! Santa! Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's up, buddy? Guess who's going to be here for Christmas? What's up? I haven't been home in six months, been in the Air Force, and uh, this is the first time I'm coming home, and my parents and nobody thinks I'm coming home, so we're about to go inside my house, see my mom's reaction, hopefully she still loves me, so let's do it. Just keep it playing. Thank <laughs> you. 